What's up guys, Too Tall Toby here, and in today's power move, I'm gonna teach you how you can really improve the quality of your workday by learning how to let go of control. Ow! So there's a couple of places where you can start using this to save time right away. And the main two places are gonna be in sketch mode and in assembly mode. In sketch mode, the workflow looks like this. You start out by hitting escape, just to make sure you're not in any other commands. You pick one entity, then you hold control, you pick a second entity, and then you let go of the control key. And you'll see that when you let go of control, that's when this context toolbar shows up. And after that happens, I could choose to make a relationship between those two lines. Like for example, I could make those two lines parallel. Or I could pick this arc, hold control, pick this line here, let go of control, and then you can see that I can make those two tangent. Of course, if I didn't like that relationship, I could press Control Z, and then you'll see that this menu will show up again. You just have to be careful not to move your mouse too quickly. So for example, if I started out with these two lines, pick one, hold Control, pick the other, let go of Control, and then I come up here and I try to make them parallel, but I accidentally click Equal, well, I can press Control Z on my keyboard, undo that, and then I can come over and say, actually, I wanted those to be parallel. You can also pick more than two entities, so I could pick one, hold control, pick another, pick a third, and then when I let go of control, that's when this dialog box shows up and I could choose to make all three of those arcs equal. So the trick is you gotta learn to let go of control. Now, let's say we're in an assembly. Well, we can do almost the exact same workflow. I could pick one entity like this face here at the underside of this three-way switch, hold control, pick the face of the, the top of the bass guitar, let go of control, and this context toolbar shows up. This time my quick mates show up down below, and so I could choose to make those two components coincident to one another. An excellent time saver. Here you can see I could pick this face here, hold control, pick this face here, let go of control, and choose to make those two components concentric in the assembly. The whole trick to this shortcut is learning how to let go of control. So if you liked that quick tip, if you think that's gonna save you time, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, be sure to share this video with some other SolidWorks enthusiasts, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this quick tip, and let me know if throughout your day, you are able to let go of control. And I will see everybody in the next video.